Hello. Another way to draw your students' attention to important information is by posting it within the course content section. The course content section can be found underneath the panel for students within your class page. Beneath course content, you will see the name of your course in larger bold print, followed by any existing units that you've created. My unit title is Practice Makes Perfect. Beneath that, you can see any journals, assessments, events, or lessons that you've posted. I only have my initial unit, a day's lesson, and one writing assessment, which I'm calling an assignment, posted. Let me show you how I created them and added these items to course content. To add to course content, don't even think about clicking on course content since that will not let you create anything. Instead, you're going to move to the upper right and click on Planner. Please note that I had to scroll up to get here. If you don't scroll up from where you are on course content, then you won't see Planner in the top right. So I scrolled up and found Planner. Think of this as one of those spiral bound lesson plan books. Click on today to jump to today's date. You'll see that to the left of March 25th is my unit beginning on the date that I created it. In the March 25th box, you'll see the lesson I posted as part of this unit. But where is the assessment, the assignment that I made for writing? It's down on the date that I set as my arbitrary due date. Now, you can post an assessment within your class feed without a unit, but you cannot create a lesson in your class feed. You can only create lessons from within the planner. You also need to create a unit before creating a lesson. So, I will now guide you through creating a unit. Since I already have one here, let's pretend that it's April 13th, why not, and I'm planning a new unit that would begin then. I hover over the margin next to April 13th and click on the faded unit, click here to add unit. I type in the unit name. I'll call it second practice unit. And I'll leave the standards blank for now. If I don't want my students to see the unit until I'm done working on it, I could change the status to hidden from students, but I'll leave it on visible for now. I'll leave my start date as 413 and we'll leave 421 as the end date, though of course I could change that. Other than serving to mark the time that you would start a unit and end a unit during your class day, I can't find how setting different times impacts how the unit is displayed. The times have nothing to do with controlling whether or not the unit is visible to your students. The above toggle does. Right here. So I wouldn't worry about the times and would leave them as they are. The students will see whatever you type in notes for students. Here I would type in the purpose of the unit. For time's sake, I'll just type in Hey kids, it's another practice unit. Unfortunately, you can't link to any Edsby items like journals, assessments, events, or lessons from here. I thought that would be pretty cool if you could, but you can't. There's an area below that for teacher notes that only teachers can see. And then you click on save. Also, Please note that you cannot share units between classes through here, but I'll show you how to make it happen in the next section. Back to business. You can see that my new unit has appeared, and since I'm more used to planning for lessons before assessments, I'm going to show you how to create a lesson next. I hover over the day that I want my lesson to begin, and I see an item selection bar pop up with journal, lesson, and assessment. I click on lesson and type in my lesson title. I know it isn't really day two, but let's pretend it's day two. 
For me, I decided to number every lesson from the day that I started posting on Edsby to keep students and myself organized. Then I click on the unit pull down menu to select which unit this lesson belongs to. So it begins to my second practice unit. Then I click on lesson date to pick a date and time to pick a time. Let's see, it, I'm saying I'd be doing this on April 13th. So I click on April 13th and it already has 12 set as a time. I'll leave it there. Remember, date and time have nothing to do with making things visible to students. The status area below that does. As far as I can tell, date and time just allow parents to see when you plan for something to start. I'm going to skip standards for now and then leave status as visible. There's an area to type in notes for your lesson plan that only teachers can see. And then there's the area that students can see. It says notes for students next to that plus sign. You have to click on the plus sign to reveal the typable area to create content for students to see. Here at the very bottom, it gives you the option to post to the current class only or to others as well. And copying the lesson to another class forces the unit to be copied over it as well. This is how we get over the problem before where we couldn't copy over a unit to another class when we initially created the unit. Let me prove it to you. I'll post it to this class first and then show you how the unit doesn't exist in my other classes planner. I can go to the pull down menu next to my class's name. And by clicking on Mr. Buckley's afternoon class, I'll jump to the planner for afternoon class. I'll click on today to get to the area where I know that unit would appear if it copied over. And I scroll down and I see that that new practice unit I created is not here. And now I'll go back to my morning class, click on today to get around where I know the new practice unit I want is. Scroll down a little bit. I'll click on the lesson to edit it. I'll scroll down to that pull down menu again, but this time I'll say, come on lagging a little bit. Let me try that again. I'll click on the lesson to edit it. I'll scroll down. Then I click on the pull down menu. Here we go. And I'll pick the class that I want to copy this lesson and the unit to. Then instead of clicking save in this class only, I'm going to click on save to this class. So it should update the lesson that I posted in this class in addition to posting the lesson for the first time in the planner of my afternoon class along with the unit. Let's see if it works. This should disappear in a moment, right? I go back to that pull down menu for the course. I pick afternoon class. I click on today to jump down to where I know that new unit should be. I scroll down a little and look, it copied over the unit and it copied over my lesson. Unfortunately, while you can edit a lesson on one day and force the changes on the identical lesson in your other class, you can update a unit in one class and force the changes on the same unit in the other class. You just have to adjust each unit in each class separately. Now, we're still in the planner. Let me get back to that original class I was working with. Just to backtrack, to get out of the planner, you need to click on class to return to the class page. And I'm going to scroll down again to my course content section. And I see that my new unit and lesson are visible now. If what, for whatever reason I wanted to hide them, I can click on the content box, scroll down a little bit, and then I could toggle off the visibility button, go back to class, Scroll down and I see that my new unit and that one lesson have disappeared, but they still exist to make them appear again. I would click on content and 
toggle the visibility back on next to the unit, which also turned on the lesson. I click on class again, scroll down, and I see that everything's updated. Right now I plan on making units hidden when all of the students have completed the work that I needed them to do in those units. So I definitely see where I'll be utilizing this visibility toggle within the course content. Now for me, within the unit, let me go to the one that I'm actually using, for setup's sake, I told my students' parents to have their students click on a new unit the first time they see it, like so, and told them that their students didn't have to click on a unit again until a new one appeared. If the students are not clicking on the new unit that's being introduced, like on day two or day three of a unit, I told the parents to have their children click on whatever day's lesson is in the course content. Within the unit, I give directions to my students to return to course content and click on day one, which is where I decided to post everything that I want them to do on that day. Within the unit, I give directions to my students to return to course content and click on day one, which is where I decided to post everything that I want them to do on that day. I asked the parents to make sure that the children read all the directions first, since some of the assignments I posted are within Edsby and some need to be accessed outside of Edsby through Clever, like Think Central or iReady assignments. I also told the parents to tell the students to keep clicking back on whatever day they're working on to see what exactly is due. Also, returning to my last video, I could have made a note of all the assignments I wanted the kids to do for day one, and I could have pinned that note, but I decided to go with this route. Currently, I prefer utilizing course content and pinning over journals for now. We'll see if my preference changes as these days continue. I hope this was useful, and please check back for more videos in the future. Thanks.